Hey everybody, so today I'm going to talk about the technique of the Paul method, or the positive azimuth uniform layout method, guys. It's a great tool to understand and have underneath your belt, as long as you have the proper equipment with it. Alright guys, so in order to do the Paul method, you really only need five tools. You need some kind of cordage that you can see, a compass that's reliable, a log of some kind, some stakes, it can be man-made or natural, and a measuring device. It does not have to be an axe, it can be a stick that you're notched in or some extra piece of cordage with inch tick marks marked off or centimeter, whichever one you're going to be using to measure. All right, so you might wonder why would I need to use the Paul method? Why couldn't I just leapfrog there and leapfrog back? Basically, think of it as a hackable way to get back from your last known point of origin back to your starting point without having to go all the way back through the trails and the waypoints that you leapfrog to. That way it saves you time, so in case you're getting towards dusk, per se, or whatever it may be, you can just go beeline and straight back to your campsite or your parking lot, whatever it's going to be. So that's why you'd want to know this skill set, guys. All right, everybody, so we talked about logging your leap points or your waypoints, whatever you want to call them, either or, and being accurate with it, being methodical, and being organized with it. That's really key when you're trying to navigate via compass and waypoints and all this fun stuff guys i like to do it just for fun and honestly it's just keep that skill honed and sharpened but this is kind of my log i have right here hope you guys can see it i have the date up here because it is a multi-page journal i don't want to get confused with another log or whatever it is but i got the number right here of waypoints st for start i got my bearings that i traveled the pace count from point to point any notes that you want to write down so if something sticks out to you in your environment like say a giant boulder or a river or a grove of aspen trees that are white you know that stuff's going to stick out to me so i just write that down in whatever direction it is from your point on the trail right so how you start this process guys is pretty simple and we're gonna get right to that all right everybody so this is pretty simple to set up um, first, you're going to get a tent stake or a stick, whatever you have available with you at the time. You're going to put it on the ground, right? And you're going to take your cordage, whatever it's going to be, from jute twine, paracord, mason line, whatever it is, guys. That's up to you. I like to put a non-slip bowline knot into it. So you guys can see. Have that there. Whatever. You're going to want a measuring device. My axe handle is what I like to use the most. Obviously, you're going to keep the metal head away from the compass so it doesn't interfere with the magnetic field of it. And considering that I like to use meters, I'm just going to represent each of these little inch tick marks here. Each one is going to represent 25 meters. It's just easier that way, and you can always adjust this for whatever length and distance you want this to be. You can make them like, you know, from 25 to mean 100 to 200, whatever. It's up to you. So. That works there. So I'm going to look down at my log here. I'm going to note, okay, I traveled 8 degrees south, 200 meters. And that's my start, right? So, take my compass. I'm going to plug in 8 degrees south, line of the compass. Take my compass on the ground here. Line that up right there. Alright, you're going to take your line, set that aside for a second, and I'm going to count these, like I said, 25 meters, and I walked 200, so I'm going to count that out, so 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, so I can take a tent stake, it's just a lot easier, shove it in the ground until it's firm, okay, take your cordage, Wrap it around that so it's nice and snug. I like to double check. Well, let's see, degrees south, we're good there. So from there, I'm going to go to the next one, which is 250 degrees southwest. So I'm going to take my compass, plug in 250. There's 250. Go to my stake, get the needle in the doghouse, guys. Perfect. And I traveled 150 meters. Let me draw the cordage for a second. 
line up the mark. You gotta make sure the mark is on the same spot each time. So if it's gonna be on center for the stick, it's gonna be on center for the stick, right guys? So 150, so we got 25, 50, 25, 100, 125, 150. All right, and that's accurate right there. Coming with another stake. Plug that in right there. Make sure it's firm. And you're gonna wrap the cordage around again. Okay. Now you're gonna repeat this process for all your waypoints, and we'll get to that what it means in the end. All right, everybody. So this is the complete layout thus far, right? This is our last known point of origin. This is where we're located right now on, say, this state forest area, right? Took my log, put in all these points in. So now, the question becomes, how do we get from here back to the parking lot? All right, everybody. So it's pretty simple to get from our last point where we're standing right now in the forest back to the parking lot, right? All you have to do is take your mason line here, or cordage, where it's going to be back to the weight uh, start point here tie that off so it's nice and tight and try to get it a little lower here hold on a second all right so that's good then you just want to take your compass make sure it's on center or on the edge however you're measuring it just be consistent because consistent equals accuracy with this and you want to line the needle off in the doghouse like so. And that will give you the degree or your bearing that you're going to be traveling on. So, we need to travel 118 degrees east by southeast. And that's it, guys. And how you figure out how far away it is, take your measuring device and start counting. So I got about where I want it. Four, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So we're going to kind of make a little mark right here. In my case. So it's at 500. So if we walk roughly 600 meters, keeping it even for us, we will hit the parking lot, guys. That's how you do the Paul method, guys. Super simple, super easy. And as always, guys, you know, just a load of fun to do. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay frosty, prep up, yeah, bless.